All right, nerds. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to remove wrinkles inside of Lightroom Classic. Not Photoshop, which is where most people actually do this kind of thing, but actually in Lightroom Classic. It's pretty easy to do if you know what to look for and the right sliders to move around. So let's jump into Lightroom and I'll show you exactly how this works. The first thing that I think you should do is make sure that you head into the navigator and choose an option that allows you to zoom in to this picture pretty pretty far. Um, you're not going to want to do this with the image really small. You're going to want to really get into those wrinkles so that you can see what you're doing. So just choose an option that works best for the photograph that you're working on. And then what you can do is use your shift key and then click and drag the photo into place. Once you have that all done and taken care of, what I also like to do is get rid of the panels that I don't need. So I'm going to go ahead and hit shift tab. Then I'm going to go ahead and click on my controls panel or my editing panel. So that way we can kind of lock that in place. And then what we're going to do is head into the spot removal tool. This is where the magic happens. So once you activate the spot removal tool, what you're going to do is go over to the photograph. You can use the bracket keys on your keyboard to make this brush. You want the brush size to be just bigger than the wrinkle itself. I also recommend that you take the feather and turn that all the way down to zero. Once you have that done, then what you're going to do is click and drag along the wrinkle and then let it go. And what you should see is two dots where the wrinkle was and where the new dot is trying to pick up on the skin tones. And you can actually take that second one and drag it around. And what we're doing is we're trying to match a skin tone that actually looks natural. What you also want to do then, once you have this in place, is move the opacity slider back and forth. When you do this, you'll actually see the wrinkle disappear. What you don't want to do is remove the wrinkle completely. You want to leave some of that texture still there, but you want to reduce the wrinkle as much as possible. And that's all we're doing with this opacity slider. You'll see if I bring it all the way to 100%, the wrinkle is completely gone. And if I bring it all the way down to zero, the wrinkle just came back to its natural form. You want to find yourself somewhere in between. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this maybe to 40 or 50%. Again, every photograph and every person that you're editing is going to be different. So you really want to use your best judgment when you're doing this. I'm going to do it somewhere around 50%. Another little trick if you want is you can actually then go to feather after the fact and move your feather up or down just to smooth out that transition so that it looks nice and even. Once you have the first wrinkle removed, then all you do is continue to repeat the process. So what I'm going to do now is look for another wrinkle that I might want to return, maybe this one up here. If I click and drag on that, then I can go ahead and move this uh, pin into place. And again, I can use my opacity to decide how much of that do I want to get rid of. Something like that looks pretty good. Now, little pro tip, at some point you keep doing this, you're going to have a bunch of these little pins all over your photograph. And if your wrinkles are close together, which they naturally and normally are, you're going to have a difficult time trying to click and drag on these wrinkles. So what I suggest that you do is actually go to the bottom of the screen where you have your tool overlay and you should choose the selected option. And what that'll do is it'll make all the pins go away except for the pin that you're working on currently. For example, I have this pin here, but if I wanted to start a new uh, adjustment, I could go and click on a new wrinkle, click and drag. You'll see that the old one went away and the new one has now appeared. So I can go in here and make whatever adjustments I need to, change the opacity or whatever I want. I'm going to move this one up a little bit higher and actually get that wrinkle to go completely away. And then I'm going to start another wrinkle right next to this one. Click and drag and you'll see again that the previous pin went away. And I can continue to just do this over and over and over again. 
one pin at a time. This is probably the preferred method, but between making your brush size the right size, blending the removal of this wrinkle with your, with your overlay feature, as well as your feather and opacity feature, this is where you're gonna get the most natural results. Once you're done, you can toggle this little switch here so you get a before and after of what you've done and you can see that the, the results are actually pretty dramatic. They look really natural and it's with no fuss, just a few simple clicks and you can get these wrinkles removed with no hassle, no layers, no trouble. The last thing I wanna say before I let you go is a word of advice. Don't ever edit your friends in front of your friends. They may never be your friends again after they see what you're doing to them they may be like, what do you mean I got wrinkles on my face? Don't worry, I got this covered. Just don't do it in front of your friends. That's the best word of advice I can give you. With all that said, remember, create with intent, and we'll see you in the next video.